Hello guys, welcome to the very first video tutorial of the series using MATLAB GUI with Arduino support package. Now if you're new here then don't forget to subscribe because in the upcoming videos we are going to make tons of Arduino MATLAB GUI projects. So to make sure you get the notification for the videos right away, do click that subscribe button. And with that being said, let's get started. To install Arduino support package on MATLAB, first click on add ons, then click on get hardware support package. Okay, now select install from internet because we are going to install the package directly from internet and click next. So right now uh, it's just scanning all the support packages available and these are the packages which we can install on the MATLAB. So from the left hand side select Arduino. Now since I have already installed this package on my MATLAB so I will not install it again. So what you have to do is uh, click all these three actions and then next. After this a new window will open uh, asking you to log into your Matchbox account. After logging in a direct download link and install option will be given. So after completing all the installation process which is quite simple package will be installed. So after the installation is complete you have to connect your Arduino to your laptop through the Arduino cable. After you have done that just type A equals to Arduino on command window and hit enter. It will take 30 to 40 seconds to load. Okay, so here are all the properties of the Arduino you just connected to your laptop. Now my Arduino is connected to port COM7. It's you know board available and analog, analog pins and digital pins are shown here which you already know and these are the libraries we can use for this package servo SPI and I2C. Now uh, let me clear the screen. Now type methods and in bracket A. Hit enter. So these are all the commands you can use uh, for this package on MATLAB. Some of which we are going to use in this course are configure analog pin, configure digital pin, display, read digital pin, read voltage, write digital pin, write PWM duty cycle, write PWM voltage and servo. Now let's see what these commands actually do. First of all, configure analog pin. This command can initialize analog pin as input or output. Similarly, configure digital pin initializes digital pin as input or output. Display command is used for displaying any variable value on command window. Read digital pin is used to read input from digital pins in terms of voltage. And read voltage is used to read input voltage from the pins, whether it's analog pin or digital pin. Your write digital pin is used to write voltage value on digital pin and maximum value is 5 volt. And write PWM duty cycle can be used to change the duty cycle of the PWM pins. Whereas write PWM voltage is used to write PWM value or voltage on PWM pins of Arduino. Now the libraries which we can use for this package is servo, SPI and I2C. In this course we will be using servo library to run a servo motor. Now for second part of the tutorial click on new graphical user interface select blank GUI which is the default one and click ok. Ok so this is your panel where you have to work to create your GUI. Whatever changes you make here will appear in your actual graphical user interface. So let's first run this and see what happens. Let's save this project with the file name GUI basics. Click save. So this is the command window. We'll talk about it later. Now this here is our GUI. Now since uh, we haven't placed anything here, so nothing is actually appearing here. Now we'll make some changes to this panel. So first of all select this push button. As you can see 
to show push button. Now just drag it like this and click run. Okay, so you see push button just appeared on the GUI window. Now let's shrink this and place it at the bottom of the window to see what actually happens on GUI window. Okay, now click run. See, whatever changes you made there just appeared here. So this way you can customize your GUI. Now let's place it back to the top. Now double click this push button. Okay, so a window is appeared. Now these are all properties of this push button. You can change these all properties of this push button. First of all, let's change the background color, which is white right now. Let's select this one, blue. Click OK. See, the color of the push button is changed. Now let's change the text color, which is appearing over the push button. Let's change it to white. So it's white right now. Now the most important property of any object, whether it be a push button or a slider, is a string and tag. A string is actually the text which appears over your push button. Right now, it's it's push button shown in white color. Let's change it to press me. And tag is actually the name of the function which is given to this push button, which will appear on your command window. So let's change this tag to pa. Now hit enter. See, it's changed to press me. And the function of this push button which we change to PA will be shown in this command window. This is the command window of our GUI. Now this is the opening function and this is the name of the file GUI basics which we just saved. Now the push button function we just created is this function PA. So we change the tag of push button to PA. If I double click on the push button. Here. Yeah. We change the tag from push button to PA, which is exactly as showing here function PA. Now let's select the slider and place it here. Double click on the slider. So let's change the background color of the slider. Click OK. Now for this object, this is slider, I'm not changing its string and tag name. So I'll just uh, leave them as they are. String name is slider and tag name is slider one. Here, the maximum value of the slider right now is 1.0. Let's change it to five. So that means uh, when it's in its leftmost position, we get zero and when uh, it is in rightmost position we get five so uh, let's click run here you can see it's our slider and the function we just created is here slider one which is the tag name now to see third object in action select edit text which is this one and just place it anywhere now double click, let's change its background color from white to something else. Click OK. Now the text color is black right now and let's change this also. Click OK. Okay, right now the string name is added text. So let's just delete this so it becomes completely empty. Okay, now tag. For tag, delete edit to and let's change this to type box okay hit enter now select static text now static static text is nothing but uh, any static text you want to show on your gi so uh, let's change first of all its background color. Click OK. Now text color to blue. Now string uh, is uh, string name is right now static text. So let's 
so i'll just delete this and type type value so i just renamed the static text to type value now the tag is text too so i'll just copy the type value and just paste it here so that string and tag name both are same okay now let's run this gui so this is the gui we just created this is the push button uh, this is the static text here type value here are both functions static text as well as edit text now since the tag of both the functions static text as well as edit text is type box so uh, the tag name of both the functions is type box as you can see in the command window now in this edit text you can give any number or any value as an input to Arduino as a command to get any output so uh, let's select now the panel from here and just place it here so panel is like a container in which uh, you can keep your objects like radio button and checkbox etc so uh, let's just place radio button over this panel another one and two checkboxes now you must have seen the radio button or checkboxes on the websites on internet you can select only one radio button but you can select any number of checkboxes so uh, we i have placed all the all the buttons on the panel and you can move panel anywhere on the screen so i can place it anywhere on my gui so it's like a container as i've already told you now click run so here's my panel now you can select radio button and checkbox from here now you must have got the idea behind the gui objects that's all for today now i'm pretty sure that uh, you have understood all the basics of this matlab gui and in the next tutorial we are going to connect our Arduino to the laptop and actually make a GI from which we will control an LED connected to the Arduino we will select two push buttons from one push button the LED will be off and another push button will switch it on so that's all for today and if you have any queries or suggestions regarding today's tutorial then just leave a comment in the comment section I'll surely reply to that so see you next time